We all know that bone is very hard. That's a given. But there's more to bones than that. They're actually what we call a composite material, made up of two very different types of element that, when combined, makes something very, very unique and very, very special. The first one is an organic compound. It's collagen, and this gives bone its flexibility and durability. The opposite end of the scale here is something called calcium phosphate. Now, this is a mineral compound, and this gives bone its structure and its strength. Combining the two makes bone the unique material that it is. I'm going to do an experiment to separate these two key ingredients in order to understand the critical role each one plays. Now, there's a skull that's been in an oven for several days. Now, this has taken out all the organic material, leaving just the calcium phosphate. And if our bones were made of just calcium, then this is what would happen. Now, this is absolutely no use at all. You've lost all this wonderful collagen structure that gives bone flexibility, and you're left with this structure that's still quite dense, but there's no integrity to the bone, and that's the issue. Next, we're going to do the exact opposite. What I want to do is remove all the mineral component, and this time, just leave myself with the organic compound. So this skull should be entirely collagen. It's been soaking away in formic acid for over a month, which should have removed all of the calcium phosphate from the bone, leaving almost pure collagen. And the result is something really surprising. This time, without the structure and all the strength, and you can see you're left with a twisty, squishy, flexible skull. Even the teeth are flexible. This is what surprised me the most. So if I had a skeleton that was entirely made of collagen, you'd have to scrape me off the floor. I'd have absolutely no strength or integrity to my bones. A bit like this thing. And that highlights just how important it is to have a skeleton with bones made of this composite material. This allows bone to be both flexible and durable, but more than anything, it allows bone to be strong.